In this video, we are making a coffee table out of solid German beech. The inspiration for this design comes from mid-century artist Isamu Noguchi, who first designed a similar table in 1947. I started by making a, a template out of paper that was going to be the, the shape of the tabletop. And I wanted to have an actual physical template there. I could have measured in my software and seen how long each board needs to be depending on their width. But I wanted to have something right there that I could lay on top of the, of the boards as they, were, as they were cut and placed. So um, this is using the CNC with a marker attached to just kind of get an outline on this paper of the uh, shape of the tabletop. Once I had that, I could take some measurements and do some rough cuts of this six-quarter German beach. I glued this tabletop in a couple of different sections. I think it was three glue ups all together, just to avoid doing all the joints at once, uh, a little less stressful. So I glued two together and then added a third one. Then I did the three shorter boards at the top and then finally joined those two large halves. Here I'm just cutting an outline of the tabletop, leaving lots of room. I'm trying to get a little smaller so it'll fit on the CNC. I'm going to use the CNC to set the shape of the tabletop. This is really a digital version of measure twice, cut once. Um, the spindle is off and I have the gantry moving just above the work, just so I can see the entire path around and make sure it's cutting in the right place.
These channels are being cut to accept some steel C channels to help keep this tabletop flat. They're probably not really needed in this case. The tabletop is pretty thick. Of the 20 or 30 tabletops I've glued up, I've only had one that really warped badly on me and it was made of beach as well. That was probably more due to poor craftsmanship on my part than the species of wood, but in any case, I decided to put those in just um, to be a little overly cautious. With the tabletop pretty much done, I moved on to designing the base, and I had seen some pictures that the uh, customer had given me, so just got into SketchUp and started to kind of try to design something. Started playing around with these different shapes. I worked through several different designs and ended up with one that we liked, and so exported that and cut a template of that out on the CNC. I've never really asked for people to subscribe or to like a video. I figure everyone watching is pretty well versed on how YouTube works. But it actually does help the channel if you do like this video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The way the YouTube machine works, it tells them that it's a, a useful video and it allows it to be more widely distributed. So if you do like it, you think it's a good video, please do that and uh, thank you. This is uh, what I came up with for trying to drill a hole through that seven and a half inch end of the base. Um, I needed to get a bolt all the way through to connect those pieces. So it worked pretty well. It wasn't perfect, but it uh, got the job done. Then with a larger bit, it easily just followed the smaller hole and I was able to put a 3 8 inch hole all the way through. Then on the other half of the base, I just added a threaded insert to accept that long bolt.
these are three standoffs that are going to go in each corner of the base. I wanted the tabletop to set on three specific points and instead of on the flat surface of the base and be subject to any change in the shape of the wood or movement. So by raising these up just a sixteenth of an inch above the base, I was able to hold the tabletop just in those three points. This table went to live in another home here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Uh, they were kind enough to send some pictures of it in place, and I think it turned out pretty nice. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.